I'm not so happy today, folks. One, there's a guy mowing his lawn out there. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate, and he's out there making it hard to concentrate. Does he know that I'm trying to do my job, that I'm trying to work in here, my very important job where I play video games? Oh, great. Now another distraction. Uh, should we just play some Rocket League instead? It's my friend asking if we want to play Rocket League. Yeah? No, not this time. I saw the beginning of last week's video. I saw what Zhuang Felix and Jetson were saying. Oh, they're so brave. My boys are so brave when the camera's on, but around me in training it's, yes, sire, anything, sire. I'll do anything. God, who is texting me? It's probably Joao Felix saying, no, 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 I'm sorry, no, he can probably hear me filming in here. He's just out there. All of a sudden, Zhuang and Jetson think they can just emasculate me. They can just play it up for the cameras. Haha, ha, he's a joke. I've got a joke for you, boys. You know, as a manager, you have to make some tough decisions. And inevitably, every season, you gotta make a tough decision on who stays and who goes. Well, guess what, Zhuang and Jetson? It's over for you now. I can't have you undermining me, creating a toxic dressing room. This isn't Chelsea. So it's over, golden boy. <sighs> Come on, man, as long as you must sell them. They emasculated you. They embarrassed you in front of everyone. Dear senses, don't be an idiot. They're just kids. You can forgive them. They must go. This is worse than kids. Sell them, man, as long. Get them out. A stern word behind closed doors. No. Make an example of them. Nothing. Are you really gonna sell the Golden Boys? They must pay! No man just wants keep them. Do not sell them. Actually, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna keep them. Okay, now, Lawai to make some suggestions for strikers. I want a fast guy. I want one like above 80 overall. I want to spend some money here, people. I want to spend some cash that they just keep on giving to me. What are we at now? Let's see. 50, eh, still 50 mil. Thought we had more, mate. But this is Australia. I don't know what the f I'm doing, I'm sorry. And to be, uh, look at the Willian Jose going for 53 million, what? These are cuckoo numbers. Here are some people, uh, my own recommendations and recommendations of yours as well. Transfer Hub, I believe, is where I want to be. Thank you so much. Lotaro Martinez was uh, mentioned quite a bit. Christoph Piantec. Also mentioned quite a bit. He's six feet tall. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a six feet tall guy. But Lotaro Martinez, one of my things is I wanted a tall striker, guys. He's five foot nine. I want a big guy that I can whip balls into. I want to whip balls at him. Nicola Pepe, that was one of my recommendations. Rebic, one of mine. And Iñaki Williams, who I really wanted because he's a striker or he can play on the right or on the left. I like the options that Iñaki Williams gives me. So. I'm gonna go for him. Will I even be able to get him? Probably not, because look who bought him! Approach to buy. Yeah, okay, of course! Yeah! The guy Menezhuang wants is unavailable. God, get him off of the shortlist. Also decent. All right, we'll go for Piantec. We'll see what we can get for Piantec. Piantec just doesn't seem as good as, he doesn't seem like he's at the quality that I wanted. You know? But there's gotta be someone else. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. 12? I think that's a fair offer. All right, so he's an option. Rebic, but we'll sell him for 32. 26, we'll accept, okay. So we got them down to 26 for Rebic. He's really not the guy that I wanted, to be honest with you. Like I really wanted Inyaki Williams, of course he had to go. Rebic just doesn't have that aerial presence that I want. Does Piantec? His positioning's good. Jumping is good. Okay, so maybe Piantec would be a decent signing. I mean, for the price, 12 mil. Let's see what they want for Pepe. I think that's a fair offer. Okay. So Pepe is there for 20 mil. Lotaro Martinez. Uh, again, he's not really what I want. I think I'm going to confirm Piantec. At this point, Mana Joao was starting to question why the wage demands were so low for Krzysztof Piantec. However, he arrogantly assumed it was down to his own powers of negotiation, as he sang Negotiation Lord, Negotiation Lord, Negotiation Lord, over and over in his head. Little did he know, he was once again proven to be an idiot. Take this L. 7400, 
Signing bonus of 100,000 and think that 56 after five goals is more reasonable. Fine, whatever. Just, let's just do it. Welcome to the team, Crystal Piantec. Hey, <laughs> New Benfica for everybody. Now we gotta put Piantec in our squad. Piantec is seven. Dude, what the fuck? It's because, oh my god, I know why. It's because I started this career mode. What the f man? No! It's because I started this career mode when he had just signed with Genoa. So he's shit. He's supposed to be 78 overall or something like that, or 80 overall now. He is crap. Dude, okay, yeah, we're buying. I just spent 12 mil on a reserve level striker. Do you know how tempting it is to just restart the filming of this episode? But I won't. I will take this L and wear it with pride. Now I need to find a different striker. F Ugh, I gotta do some research now. Dude, I can't believe that. I didn't think he would be that much shittier, but I guess it makes sense considering he's, <sighs> he was a total random back then. Okay, I need to I need to hit the research room now. I can't get Inyaki. Anti Rebic, I'm not that into. He doesn't have the aerial presence that I want. Do I just keep Jimenez? But no, I want I want someone dope. I want a good striker. So yeah, I'm gonna research. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Filippo Gosh has been sold. So they threw another six mil at me. Thank you. That recoups half of what we paid for Piantech! Uh, Shrian sold, Lopez sold, that's another 5.5. Pepe and Rebic are looking forward to contract negotiations. Mendy says they're over. Got a transfer offer for Arango. Accept offer, yeah, that's fine. We'll negotiate again. There we go. Willing to give you 14.5. Negotiation Lord! Negotiation Lord! You thought that was left behind in the last episode, didn't you? Nah, it can always come out to get you. All right, we're making moves here. We're making some money back. We're making our money back. The money that Christoph Piantec and Genoa stole from us. God, hate that guy. Rango and Jonas sold. Pepe and Rebic don't want to come. Transfer offer for Carrillo. They offer 11.4 and he's only valued at 10.5. Dude, take him. We're making so much cash here. Carrillo, you better not break down those negotiations, man. Otherwise, I'll be furious. I'm already furious with Piantec. 71 overall, Christoph Piantec, what the hell? And a transfer offer for Castillo, 19.6 mil. Ooh, his value is 13.5. He's in good form. Uh, I could get up to 29, apparently. Let's negotiate. Guys, we're just wheeling and dealing in this episode, am I right? You guys love wheeling and dealing, don't ya, hey? Oh my god, if I know my subscribers, I know one thing about them. And that's that they love a little bit of a wheel and a deal. So we'll just keep on wheeling and dealing here, guys. Okay, propose a new transfer fee. Give me 25.5. I'm going back to 5.5. If it's a 7 hour flight or a 45 minute drive. Okay, you have a deal. Negotiation. Making tons of cash, boys. Wheeling and dealing, all right? About Jonas's spot. Castillo's gone. Uh, Jonas is gone. Facundo Ferreira, you're gonna be next as soon as I get an offer for you, but no one wants you. Transfer offer for Ferreira. Yes. Oh, from FC Porto. Ah. Let's see if we can. Uh, they offer 16.9. Let's compromise. 17.7, no. Well, <laughs> get the hell out of here, FC Porto. Castillo, sold. We get 20 mil from that. Carrillo, sold. We get 8.5. We get another transfer offer for Facundo Ferreira, 15.8. Sell him for 17.5. Current value is 13. Okay. Okay, so. I added these three to my short- Okay, Rebic and Pepe are out. Bye. Lotaro Martinez, not what I'm looking for. Uh, I wanted to get Rodrigo, but he just moved to Tottenham. So there goes that. Let's start with Haller, see what they want with, for him. He's currently on loan at another club. Okay. For sake. What's wrong with this transfer market? Leong, how about you? Value, 10 mil. Let's throw 6 mil their way. 
But is this a player that really elevates us? Look at that transfer budget, by the way. 96 million. Is this a player that really elevates us or do we go for the unrealistic? Well, they don't want to give him for 6 mil even though I was just starting it off there. Okay, so 18 mil for Andre Silva. How much overall is he going to be? Let's, uh, let's... What's his starting overall though? That's scary. This is a real... Like, this is a legit conundrum. I'll go for a signing bonus of 470 and 1 million after 20 appearances. Oh my god, dude. This is the biggest fail of all time. We have so much money, I'm gonna get someone who can slay. Because in my heart, I knew that Andre Silva wasn't good enough. He wasn't that player I'm looking for that's gonna take us up another level. I don't think he's that good in FIFA, especially FIFA 19 starting overall from back in September, not after the adjustments or anything. Who do I get? This is a boring episode. That's it. I'm breaking the bank. I have so much money. I want a good f***ing striker, man. I want an elite striker. I want to win the Champions League. You know what I'm saying? And so, here are the two players that I have shortlisted now. Chiro Immobile. They're already scouted, by the way. They're known how good they are. I want elite, okay? Value, 50.5 million, approach to buy. Immobile, I would love to have Chiro Immobile. Huge fan of that guy. All this, all this disaster, absolute disaster trying to get a striker. We'll, we'll offer uh, 53. Won't let him go for that. We'll sell him for 70.8. 63. That's not bad, but we believe he's worth more. We'd be compromised 75. Okay, you have a deal. So we could get Immobile for 70 which is a lot, not realistic at all, I'm sorry, but I want elite, man. I don't want these, will be good if you play them every single game for an entire season type players. I want quality now, you know? I want an immediate buy. Could be between 33 and 46. Start at 40. I think that's a fair offer. So now, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for me to go for Immobile. I don't think it does. His jumping's brutal, man. That's crazy. I thought his jumping would be way better. So Wage will offer him what he currently has, plus 20,000. Signing bonus, we'll give him a mil. That's fair, cool. So we got Marcus Rashford. <laughs> elite, elite signing. Jonas is gone. We just sold a ton of players, man. Almeida, um, you wanna go join Jonas? Okay, accept. Piantec. Ugh, I don't wanna see you around here, man. Ferreira sold, thank god. Transfer offer for Zivkovic. Could get up to 43 for him? Oh man, okay. Let's negotiate. Let's talk, Chelsea. If I can get 43 for him, because I barely play the guy, that's the thing. Like, I started playing with him a lot, but uh, remove sell on clause. Just give me 40. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, might just have time for one match at this point with all the wheeling and dealing. Man, it feels good to finally be playing a game after all that time of f***ing around. Rashford still looks natural because he's wearing red. Marcus Rashford for 40 million seems outrageously low to me. Rashford, ooh! This feels weird having Rashford out there. Super weird. Good ball, Jean-Felix. Rashford, Jovic, oh, off the keeper. Bad strike. Oh, why is Rashford taking the corner? Nice corner though. Straight to Alpha Semedo's head and into the back of the net. Semedo really fell off for Benfica though. Holy shit. Man, did that guy ever fall off after scoring that goal for us in the Champions League? Made just one appearance for Espanyol. Okay, we got our first goal of the season out of the way. First assist for Rashford. He's definitely not going to be on corner duty anymore, though. Okay, 1-0 at the half. Okay performance. Not great. Um, Rashford's looking dangerous, even though you probably won't see it in any of the highlights here because he didn't do much besides to set up that goal. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the performance so far. 3-5-2 isn't really working, in my opinion, but I'm going to stick with it and not change it a million times like I did in that Everton match. Yes, Diogo. The strike. All these strikes that I'm catching right, but just not on target. It's the finesse shot. They nerfed it too hard. 
Can't get anything on target with it anymore. Oh no. Wow, fell perfectly for him. Oh, what a save by Ramos. Oh, saved again. Man, we're only in this, we're only winning this game right now because of Claudio and goal. Oh. Go on, David. Go on, David. Ball into Rashford. Yes. Oh. Ah. Come on. F man. I know we won, but this just adds to the frustration from this episode. Prom just kept us in that match. Oh man, did he ever. Huge saves from him. 1-0 squeak against Boavista, a team that I was smacking up last season. Press conference, please let me know. No. Almeida sold, so another 8.5. So how much money do we have? Because Zivkovic is about to be sold as well. So we're going to have a ton of money again. So the Piantec thing doesn't even get me down anymore. I'm past that. I think that my squad is done. But as in, I think I'm happy with my squad. That's a pretty decent starting lineup. I'm going to work on my 4-3-3 with Rashford playing down the middle. But other than that, I don't know what else I need to do with this team, really. I think that we're ready for the season. Unless you guys have someone you want me to assign. I know you guys will just throw out random names. But, but do it anyway, because maybe it will spark something in the old noggin here. Weird episode. Lots of fails. Lots of negotiation fails. Hopefully it was entertaining, at least. It's going to take a lot of editing to make it entertaining. But yeah, anyways, I'm Mena Zhuang, an absolute failure of a manager. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. The next episode. And if my players are in the media talking shit about me again, oh, they're gone. Bye.